<laughs> he said he thought he tasted mashed potatoes. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. It is a Wednesday here again. I seem to film a lot on Wednesdays, but <laughs> anyway, I am getting ready to bake some cookies. I'm thinking of doing some pumpkin cookies of some sort, uh, and this may be a vlog that will be combined over two days time. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm also thinking of working in the nursery today, trying to stencil my one accent wall. I haven't actually done it yet, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I wanted to bring you guys along with me if I am doing it. Um, I'm gonna be making, there's a pumpkin whoopie pie recipe, but I don't think I'm gonna do the whoopie pie style. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a recipe for you guys, but I know there's a lot of pumpkin cookie recipes out there, like on Pinterest and stuff, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. If I do find the recipe for the frosting, I'll go ahead and link it. I'm gonna get started on that. It's about quarter till nine right now. And I don't know, it's kind of dreary outside. I had a little bit of a sore throat during the night. I don't know if it's gonna get worse or not. I hope not, so. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna start, stop rambling. So I'm gonna make this icing and you're supposed to brown the butter. I'm hoping it won't like make my icing lumpy. I just found it on Pinterest, but I'm thinking of adding some pumpkin spice. Hang on, I'll show you. I picked up some of this from the store the other day, but I'm thinking of substituting this for regular milk because it would give a little bit more of a pumpkin flavor. So I'm gonna try it. tastes pretty good so far. I'm gonna see what Nick says. Want more? Does the frosting taste good? Mm-hmm. Very good. It mainly my, uh, taste mashed potatoes to him. Huh? Oh. Is this cut in the brown butter? <laughs> Sis! <laughs> Getting yellow whips when mashed potatoes gets out. <laughs> He said, <laughs> he said he thought he tasted mashed potatoes. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Just a hint of mashed potatoes when I first bit into it. It's because of the brown butter. Yeah, I told him, well, the recipe calls for brown butter. And then I put the, you know, the pumpkin spice creamer in. <laughs> I guess. I, he likes them, but I'm about to taste it too. He says they're really good, but. Yeah, I know what you mean. Definitely taste the brown butter. 
because we like putting brown butter on top of mashed potatoes. So, but I really like it actually. No, that was easy enough. You use a half a stick of butter. I think it called for unsalted, but I had salted. So brown the butter. Don't let it like burn, but brown it. And then let it cool off a little bit. And then you add three cups powdered sugar to it. And I just dumped. I think the recipe had called for a fourth cup of milk. And you can use regular milk too, it doesn't matter. But this just gives it maybe a little bit of a different. I don't taste like really much pumpkin because this stuff isn't like very strong, but um, it's white, so it doesn't like color it or anything, don't worry. So then I, I just kind of poured until it was the right consistency, and then a little bit of vanilla. So I like it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough frosting though. Might have to make more. Okay, so I cleaned up my mess and I'm headed over to get Jackson from school. It's a little after 11. Goodness, I'm almost gonna be late. Um, but then Nick will take him and I have a PTA meeting with his teachers just for a little bit. And I'm gonna take him a couple cookies. I thought they might use a snack before the afternoon class gets there. <laughs> So, uh, and then I think we might eat some lunch. Well, I didn't give the cookies to her because I thought my meeting was gonna be a little later and I thought I'd come back out and give them, but anyway, his teacher said that she wasn't feeling the best anyway, so she was gonna go home, so I think I'll just give them in the morning. But anyway, I had the PTA meeting and Nick actually came in on the tail end of it. So we're gonna go get some lunch at Deli Deli, I think. It's like a food truck here locally. So, and I've never eaten there before. So I think we're gonna go get that for lunch and then he might go over to that other house that we have been kind of working on this summer. And then I'll probably go home. Um, so that's the plan for now. So Deli Deli was not in their normal spot. So we're gonna go to Culver's instead, which is just up the road. You hungry, Jax? Mm -hmm. Hungry? Yeah? I a little better than that. So we're back home. Jackson thinks he needs to paint again, so he's working on some art projects, I guess, huh, bud? So oh, fun fact, I don't know if you guys are following me on Instagram, I know some of you are, but I mentioned that, I think it was yesterday, that yesterday and today, which is the 8th and the 9th, um, we saw this house for the first time. And if you've been following along with me, let me know if you remember those videos. Um, it's crazy that it's a year already. We didn't put, like we just put the offer in a year ago. And then we didn't actually have closing on the house until like November, so. Just kind of crazy to see how far we've come since then. Um, sometimes it feels slow, and other times it, you know, when you look at that, look at progress, it does feel kind of fast. So we're still a long way to go, I feel like, but we've definitely made big um, improvements so far. But yeah, just crazy that a year ago we were down here. Okay, it's much later, and this day has not really gone as planned. <laughs> right now, I'm really not feeling very good. I guess my sore throat is kind of something sick or whatever, but I just, I feel like just lounging around and that's kind of what we've been doing. I didn't really do much this afternoon. I did look at the stencil. I was gonna do this on our walls or on the one wall here in the nursery where I'm gonna do the crib. Um, I ordered it from Sammy on State she has an Etsy shop and also Instagram. And I was gonna do it with this oil-based Sharpie paint pen, not a permanent marker. You will not, <laughs> you'll have a very hard time painting over them. But anyway, so I tested it in the boys' closet and I was a little concerned that the walls, it might not work because of the texture on the walls. 
and from the little bit that I've done in the closet it like wants to bleed a little bit and it's like a it'd be like a herringbone print and so I'm not exactly sure like it has a pretty wide tip so maybe if I would you know try a smaller tip that might help um, I'm not sure so at this point I feel kind of discouraged with it I'm thinking maybe I need to just skip it I don't really feel like trying it and then it not working anyway if I'm already a little skeptical about it um, I'm not sure if you guys have ever done something like this let me know the other thing that I'm kind of concerned about is how I would end it in like the corners of the wall because obviously it's not like gonna come out perfectly spaced you know that it'll come out evenly I'm sure it won't um, and I'm like if I have to bend it it's gonna just like it's not really gonna work very well so at this point I'm like well should I just skip it I was gonna do like removable wallpaper and it had this pattern but it's way too expensive for me so I'm not gonna do that and I was, I was like well this is like a $23 you know trial I could maybe try it and it's not a lot lost if I don't do it which might be what is gonna happen so I don't know if any of you guys have ever done it uh, let me know I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I feel like I'm just gonna eh, discouraged with it right now maybe I should just leave it uh, Nick has a men's meeting tonight so he's getting ready for that and then the boys are gonna take baths and I'll put him to bed early we usually like to try and get him to bed by 8 8 30 if we can on a school night it doesn't always happen but I try to because we have to get up at like they have to get up at like 6 30 I get up at like 5 30 so everyone's trying to go to bed earlier right now because Nick has four days of the early early mornings where he gets up at like before four o'clock to go to his job so yeah I'm trying to get a little bit more sleep and stuff but I will say okay this is turning into a long chatty conversation I will say I have not been sleeping very good recently I'm getting more uncomfortable this is like week 27 I think if I'm calculating right um, I just I don't know I get sore like my hips get sore just from sleeping which I think I may have talked about that before but then I don't know it's just it's not like a nice deep sleep and I guess it's a good way to prep me for the newborn stage you know but anyway I'm not gonna do too much the rest of the night okay so this might look disgusting but I was trying to figure out what sounded good to eat I just I felt like I wasn't really hungry but sort of hungry and finally I decided on tomato soup <laughs> tomato soup and crackers so hopefully I can kick this stuff I just yeah I don't know I had a nap well no I rested today I don't think I actually slept but yeah I really took it easy today so don't be too hard on me guys <laughs> but anyway hopefully I can kick it soon also don't mind the appearance and everything <laughs> I keep it real with you guys. I'm uh, putting my tomato soup here on my uh, shelf. It is handy to have a shelf when you're pregnant, you know. I was going to watch um, my Call of the Midwife. I'm still working on it. I've been working on that series for probably a couple years <laughs> off and on. But it wasn't wanting to like play right on my screen. So I'm watching Allie Gooch right now. She is one of those moms who's just really encouraging and she's just a sweetie so I'm watching her latest video on the screen right now go subscribe to her if you haven't guys oh and also the boys are taking a bath right now so they're just over here in the next room but I'm gonna try and eat my tomato soup I think it's cooled down by now but then I'm gonna hopefully finish um, The Adventures of Reddy Fox. We're, we've been trying to read it and it's been kind of off and on but anyway I think we're gonna try and finish it tonight and probably just call it a night. Now Reddy couldn't get to sleep. His bedroom was small and he was so stiff and sore that he could not get comfortable. He twisted and turned and fidgeted. The more he fidgeted the more uncomfortable he grew. He thought of the warm sunshine outside and how comfortable he would be stretched out full length on the doorstep. Sorry you have to keep looking at me looking like this. But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog. I was actually editing 
this vlog and Nick's not home yet. The boys have been sleeping for a little while, but I think it's gonna be long enough, so I'm gonna just end it. But I have not shared my verse of the day with you guys yet, and I've been getting so much good feedback from you, and I appreciate that. Um, I try to do it in, you know, at least a lot of the videos that I can kind of fit it in naturally with. Um, but yeah, I just have something again from the Proverbs 31 app here. I'm just going to read it. Uh, it was from October 4th. It is the Lord your God you must follow, and Him you must revere. Keep His commands and obey Him. Serve Him and hold fast to Him. De Deuteronomy 13.4 um, and then they have a little saying thing that says, when we forfeit our own plans, we can hold fast to God's hands. Corey Gerbatz, I think it says. So that's like really true. It's also really hard to do sometimes because, you know, you just want to like hold on because we know what's best, right? <laughs> but we really don't. And it's so, so easy for me to forget that. So y'all can pray for me <laughs> but tomorrow morning hopefully i can go do my glucose test i'm supposed to do it between week 26 and 28 so i was gonna do it this morning but then i just didn't really feel like it so i'm gonna try and do it tomorrow morning as long as i'm feeling okay um and go chug the juice <laughs> they asked me if i wanted to do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich i was like what i've never done that before <laughs> um and I could have, but I was like, mm, it's okay. The juice is not that horrible, in my opinion. I know some people hate it, and it's maybe not the best, but it's also not like the worst thing, at least from what I remember. I think I had tried the, what kind do they have? Fruit punch. I think I had that instead of the orange. I'm not as big into orange. Um, so I'm going to hopefully do that tomorrow. I'm not sure. Tomorrow morning. Um, and hopefully that'll all go okay, but... Yeah, I'm hoping to sleep better tonight. I don't know if I will or not, but yeah, we will see. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for tagging along today. I know it's been kind of a different vlog. It's just a pretty normal day in the life. I didn't show a lot of the boys, I guess, but that's going to be it, you guys. All right, I hope you all have a very blessed day, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>